Good morning, it's Ian Koniak, and today I'm going to give you some tips that are gonna help you sell more this year than you've ever sold. And here's the irony of what I'm gonna share. In order for you to sell more, especially if you're selling strategic, complex deals or software or anything that requires change, you need to stop selling. The harder you try to sell, the more you will repel. Don't try to sell. The reason you're trying to sell is because you're focused on yourself, hitting your quota, hitting your commissions, hitting your goals. And while that's all fine and dandy, those are your outcomes, those are your goals. Those are not your client goals. The reason people don't succeed in sales is because they are making it all about them. This is an inward mindset, an inward focus mindset. What does it look like? It looks really simple. My job is to sell. Secondly, I talk, I pitch, and I try to impress you. Third, I sell products and services. Products and services focused on me, my company, my products, my services. I talk about those things. Fourth, my quota is my goal. And when you do these things, you get commission breath really quick and commission breath stinks. And what happens when you show up this way is you are perceived as a vendor. You're grinding, you're clawing, you're scraping, you're hard closing, you're doing whatever you can to sign a deal because that is the goal of the inward focus salesperson. And then you gotta wake up and do it again the next day and the next month and the next quarter, the next year, and all of a sudden you're like, shit, this sucks. I'm pressuring my clients. And when you put too much pressure on something, it breaks, it cracks. That's not what we want our clients to do. We don't want them to break or they'll never work with us again. So in order to sell more, you actually have to shift how you think about sales and shift from yourself to your clients. You need to make that shift from inward to outward focused. For three years, I was focused on making my number, on closing, on hitting my quota. That's all I cared about. It's Salesforce between 2014 and 2016. In those three years, I missed quota every single year, nearly left the company, almost got fired. Somehow made it out, invested $20,000 in my personal development. It was all about me becoming a better person, a person who cares more about others than myself. And when you give and you care more about others, it comes back to you. The following year, I finished number one at Salesforce globally, made over seven figures, same person, different focus. I shifted from inward to outward. So what does that look like? My job is to serve. It's my job. My job is to help you. If I can't help you, then I'm not, I don't have any purpose here. So let's figure out if I can help you. Let's have a conversation. That's another big difference. Pitch versus conversation. Conversation. I stopped trying to sell and just talk to people. Didn't see them as the buyer. Didn't see them as the customer. Saw them as a human first. Got to know them. Understand what they care about. What success looks like for them. Authentic. Authentic versus salesy. This is salesy. This is authentic. This is the difference. And when you're authentic, you could care less whether or not they buy. The genuine purpose is to see 
if you can help them rather than to shove something down their throat that they may or may not need. So instead of talking, pitching, and impressing, we listen and understand. Listen and understand to see if they have problems we can solve, if they have challenges we can help them overcome. We are a helper. We are not a hero. We are a helper. They are the hero. You need to listen, not just say, I got a solution when they say I have this problem. Instead, ask second, third, fourth level questions. Why is it a problem? What are you trying to do to fix it? Why is it important to fix it now? What happens if you don't fix it? How's the problem affecting you? How's it affecting your team? If you can fix it, what's that gonna mean to you? What's it gonna mean to your company? Understanding their world and listening and just having a conversation. That is what the best sellers do. They don't try and pitch. They ditch the pitch. I've heard that a few times. They just converse. They don't talk about their products or services. They talk about their customers' problems and goals. Inward versus outward. Instead of the goal being to hit their quota, the goal becomes to help the customer hit their goals or their KPIs or their metrics. Whatever the customer will measure as success, whether it's improving their CSAT or whether it's retaining their employees or whether it's growing revenue or profitability, whatever the customer's goals are, that becomes the goals of the outward focused salesperson. I'm here to help you hit your goals. And when you show up this way, you transition from a vendor to a trusted advisor. So stop putting all that pressure on yourself and on the client. Don't be attached to outcomes. Outcomes come out of helping and serving. Quota is an outcome. Commission is an outcome. President's Club is an outcome. But it comes out of being a trusted advisor to your clients. If you can help them, great. Show them how, show them the way. Quarterback your team, bring in your resources. But if they don't have a problem or they don't wanna solve it, or they don't have goals that they're articulating or they don't wanna engage and be part of the process, bye-bye. Move on, find somebody else. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Even if you only have a couple accounts, there's other People, there's other executives in the large enterprises you can work with that do want to change, that do acknowledge there's a problem. But it starts with stop trying to sell and instead show up with the intention of understanding first and then showing how you can help. This is what is going to help you have the biggest year of your careers. I'm Ian Koniak. Thanks for listening. I'll see you later.